consensual non-consent. It's a pretty touchy subject because in non-complicated words, it's rape play. The first thing I'm gonna say is I absolutely love consensual non-consent play. But if you've ever raped somebody, fuck you. I'll be the first one to put a bullet in your head and I hope you step to me because fuck that shit. I don't condone anybody to disrespect people or do anything that's not consensual. Anyway, welcome to the topic that nobody wants to talk about. So you click this video because it's either one of two reasons. You're genuinely interested in why the fuck people have these fantasies or you have this fantasy and you want to find out why. I get it. Why would anybody want to be raped? But that's not what this play consists of. Really what it consists of is more so the pleasure or the satisfaction in forced sex, not the actual trauma that comes along with rape. Let's get that straight first. It's not the actual desire to be raped by someone. But you know what's crazy? More than half of all the women out there have this fantasy. Why? The why factors can include things just like masochism, just because they enjoy the pure pleasure out of being harmed or being inflicted with pain or forced to do something. Then you have things like the openness and willingness of new sexual experiences. It's something brand new. It's something that's not very common or not spoken about a lot. So it's something that a lot of people are like, what the fuck, I wanna try it. It could be the want factor. Just as somebody wants to be wanted so, so much that it comes down to a point where, hey, I might enjoy being forced to do something. Wanted that fucking bad. A big reason why this play is carried out is because the acknowledgement of the safe play factor of it. You know you're gonna be in a safe position. You know that you can have the person stop at any time. You know that you can be moderately injured, but you're aware of everything that's going on. It's not something that's just like, what the fuck just happened? You're aware of the risk. You feel a little bit more at ease doing these things with a person that you trust and know because of those factors. I hope this kind of gives you an idea on why these things take place because personally, I thoroughly enjoy consensual non-consent play but it just needs to be done safely and carried out the right way. Where the hell do you even do something like this? Look, the easiest place to do something like this is gonna be the house. Because you can't do it in a public place because if anybody sees it, they're gonna call the cops, it's gonna escalate, and it's just gonna be drama, 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 drama. So to avoid all the drama, to do it in a place where there's no one else gonna be around. I know some of you are not in like public sex, but this is not something you do in public. Huge factor, I know I've talked about it before, but ensure you guys have a safe word. Safe words cannot consist of items like no or stop or anything as such because that's usually something that eggs on the top more so than stops them. So when you say stop and you say no, that's gonna make somebody wanna continue because it's part of the play. What I thoroughly suggest is you plan out just a little bit of what's going to happen as far as the situation, whether it's gonna be a kidnapping, a break-in, etc. How is a regular BDSM scene different than a rape play fantasy? Well, if you're new to the world, what you need to understand is the regular BDSM scene, yeah, although it is physical, a lot of it is mental domination and understanding that you are underneath that dominant at that time. Now with a rape play fantasy, it's more of the physical domination and forcing the bottom to do things for you. Where in regular BDSM play, it's more so, I say you listen. So now you watched it and you understand what the fuck rape play is. But, you're sub, you're bottom, you're a girl that wants her boyfriend to have a rape play fantasy with her. Whatever the case may be, how do you tell them? Oh shit, this is a tricky one. If you don't have an open line of communication with your man, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, doesn't matter what it is, and you wanna discuss, hey, this is the kind of situation that I wanna end up in the bedroom with, that's where you need to start. Open that communication line, break the ice, understand that you guys need to discuss sexual items consistently. I always say, I believe sex makes the world go around, but if you don't have the communication with your partner about I like this, I don't like this, I wanna try this, but I don't wanna try that. Or I wanna try all these things in these different places. If you do not have that communication line open with your significant other, open it. That's where you start. You start by discussing minor things and building into those situations. Let's face it, consensual non-consent is rape play. It's when somebody breaks into your house, covers your mouth, ties your hand behind your back, throws you into the bedroom or throws you wherever the fuck you are, pulls down your pants and forces himself inside of you. They throw you around, you try to escape. You do your absolute best to leave, to try to get out, to try to get help, to try to remove yourself from that situation, but they continue to bring you back. They push you back into that position over and over and over. But the main thing is, you enjoy it. Keep in mind that a rape fantasy, 
consensual non-consent, all these different items can add the craziest and most fun sex to your life when involved with the person correctly. It's super important to select somebody that you trust and that is actually going to ensure that you're safe the entire play. Much of everything that I'm saying for you to protect yourself and ensure that you're safe is common sense. But still, I condone you to do as much as you can to ensure that it's safe. Enjoy it and get as dirty as you fucking want. Oh shit, you're mad because I talked about this subject? Well, you can open wide so I can spit in your mouth too. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, you know that I'm the plug for you. Hit me, better get your money up. Cause I don't give a fuck.